As always, guys, if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you want to, you don't have to. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. This weekend, I finally got to see Logan. And you could have it all. My empire. Still have time. So Logan is the second Wolverine movie that's directed by James Mangold and of course stars the man, the myth, the legend, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. And of course, Sir Patrick Stewart as Professor X. That was my attempt at a British accent. And a <laughs> very impressive girl playing X-23. I'm telling you right now, she may be the best kid actor I have seen in a movie in a long, long time. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's start off with the movie itself. So a quick back story. The first Wolverine movie is hated by many, including myself. I don't like the movie. I think it's a pathetic attempt at an X-Men movie. The second Wolverine movie was not near as bad. The first two acts were actually really great, but the third act, it kind of falls apart. You can see where there was studio interference. So once James Mangold got another chance, I said, this is your time. This is your chance to get Wolverine as a character right. And the fact that it's Hugh Jackman's last one. So after sitting down, watching the movie with my friend, who is a massive Wolverine fan, shout out to Chris Ward, I have decided that this is not only the best Wolverine movie, not only maybe the best X-Men movie, but this is one of the best superhero movies I have seen since The Dark Knight. This movie is passionate, this movie is subtle, it's filled with emotion, the underlying tones of this film is fantastic. The way it is shot, it is shot like a western, it is shot like Hell or High Water, which was one of my favorite movies of last year, got nominated for an Oscar. I think Logan is beautiful and amazing enough to get some potential Oscar nods, including Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart, because this is the best I have ever seen them. They are at the height of their powers here, and the reason I think they're so good is because of the way that they play off of each other. Their relationship in this movie is great. It is a father-son dynamic, the one-on-one, -on -one, the back and forth, the dialogue, the script. It's so clean. It's written so well. It never goes to what the last Wolverine movie goes to. It never goes to that cheesy, oh, this is the comic book ending. No, 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 no. This thing has nothing comic booky in it other than the fact that there are superheroes in the movie and actual comic books which I thought was pretty cool. But hey, Hugh, I mean, if you want to come back for a Deadpool Wolverine movie, please be my guest. Let's talk about the violence a little bit. This is something that people have been so excited about. Oh, we finally get to see Wolverine break out his claws and slash some faces with an R rating. So did the R rating deliver? Of course it delivered. This is the best we've ever seen Wolverine. The most violence, the most action. Wolverine doesn't need an R rating because he's worked in PG-13 movies. Yeah, of course he's worked in PG-13 movies, but we get a chance to see what he can really do here. We get a chance to see what not only he he gets to do, but X-23, man, she kicks butt. This actress is going to go so far. I hope we get to see her again in this universe. I loved everything about her, and the movie really kind of hinges on her, because if she doesn't work, if she doesn't do what she's supposed to do as an actress to carry this character, we will not like the movie, because it's kind of like Star Wars Episode One, right? The movie kind of hinged on Anakin, and he didn't really deliver, which makes the movie worse than it actually was, and it already wasn't good to start with. So the fact that she was amazing is fantastic and I love seeing this little girl loved everything about her I think her dynamic with Charles Xavier and her dynamic with Logan kind of like the father-daughter dynamic with both characters she has that dynamic with both of them and the the way that they all three interact with each other is amazing I thought the villain in this movie wasn't too bad there's the villain we see a lot of and then there's you know there's the Darth Vader and the Emperor Palpatine his Emperor Palpatine he comes in the movie and it's kind of like okay well, did you need to be in the movie I see why they did it but I thought his character was kind of useless but the main villain I thought did a fantastic job yes there were some tone shifts at time but I really believe that's what makes this movie work those small soft subtle moments where you're gonna need to bring the Kleenexes and I'm not even just saying that because oh yeah characters die in this movie I'm saying that because the conversations that Charles has with Logan and that Logan has with X-23 just the way that they interact with each other it's sad it's emotional it's hard Felt. The script in this movie is absolutely fantastic. 
I'm just, guys, I'm blown away with Logan. This is the same feeling that I had coming out of The Dark Knight. You know, The Dark Knight is not only my favorite superhero movie ever, it might be my favorite movie of all time, and I just had this feeling when I walked out, I could go straight back into the theater and watch that again, and that's the same feeling that I have with Logan. I had that feeling for other movies like Civil War and Winter Soldier, but they didn't have those underlying themes that this movie has. And I'm not saying this movie is better than those movies. I don't know yet. I'll have to go consider and put this in. All in all, Logan is great. Love seeing all the characters. Love seeing the villain. Love seeing the way that Hugh Jackman is potentially, like I keep saying, ending his career as Wolverine. Buddy, you did it, man. That's all I've got to say. If there are 10 movies better than this in 2017, this will be the greatest year in film history because Logan is absolutely the best superhero movie I have seen. One of the best superhero movies I've seen. We've had some good ones lately. I've seen in a long, long time. Woo! I've talked a lot. Guys, I'm going to give Logan a 9.5 out of 10. It's incredible. It's amazing. Go see it right now. So what did you guys think of Logan? What do you think of Hugh Jackman's performance? Would you like to see him come back and do a Deadpool movie? Do you like superhero movies in general? What are you eating for dinner today? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on all the social medias. I've talked long enough, guys. I've probably talked to you all. You guys are the absolute best. Go see Logan, and I will catch you later. Wolverine, ah!